And now, the former champion, Betty Heidler, in the first round of the women's hammer. Germans, of course, have great expectations from her. The leading distance so far, a big one, 74-86. So how can Heidler respond? Oh, yes, a terrific throw. We could have another German medal if she can sustain this sort of form. Could be enough already. Just over 75 metres to take the lead. The Dachik opened with 74.86, and Heidler here, 75 metres 10. Here's the Dachik of Poland, the world leader there this year, the uh, Polish record holder now. She took over that record from the late uh, Kamila Skolimowska, and that was the opening throw of the competition just before Heidler went past her. So Vladarczyk there, opening up with a very fine hammer throw of 74 metres, 86. Well, now back to the hammer. Here's the opening throw of the second round. Anita Vladarczyk of Poland, the world leader this year at this event. Oh, a fantastic throw. That's taken her not only into the lead, but it's certainly going to be the world's best this year as well. And uh, indeed, that could challenge the world record. The world record is 77 metres 80 by Tatiana Lysenko. We have the third world record of these championships, Anita Vladarczyk of Poland. And Poland are having a great championships, 77 metres 96. We've had two world records from Usain Bolt. We've now got one in the women's events from the Polish athlete Anita Vladarczyk confirming her fantastic breakthrough this season. She earlier had taken the Polish record of Skolimowska, now she's got the world record. Now Betty Heidler into the circle in the women's hammer. She took the lead with the first round, 75-10, but since then, and she's about to come in for the second round, Anita Vladarczyk of Poland has set a world record of 77 metres 96. Nonetheless, Germany going well in the throws and every chance for another medal here from Heidler. Out goes that hammer to the evening air and it's a very similar throw to her first one, just over 75 metres. And now in the women's hammer, Betty Heidler once again. We saw her improve to 75-38 in the second round. Here she goes in the third. The lead still held by Vladarczyk at 77-96, the world record. Vladarczyk passed her third round effort. So here he is, Heidler, third round of the hammer. Terrific roar from the crowd here in the stadium. And another terrific throw, over 75 metres, but that world record may just be a little bit too far. But she's on her way to another medal, but unless uh, there's going to be something sensational happening, because third is Rasnova, some way behind at 72-72. The former world record holder, Lysenko, fifth at 72-22. Here's Catherine Kass of Germany, also going really well. With Heidler in second place, here's Klaas. I can do the pun here, I think that is a classy throw. Oh yes, Klaas, that could well take her into third. Tremendous performance by Klaas there. Looks like a personal best performance. Klaas has only made one major final before, she was sixth in the European Championships. But rising to the occasion here and indeed smashing her best half a meter 74 23 into third <laughs> betty heidler can she get well it's a big ask getting close to that world record in the hammer but she's been very consistent, regularly over 75 metres, throwing brilliantly well here today. Well, that time, just a little short. This is the uh, fourth round now. Vladarczyk is still passing. Well, once you've done a world record and you're a couple of metres ahead of the field, you can afford to 
take your time and wait. But Archie has said she'll certainly pass her third, fourth, and fifth attempts. Reserve the uh, right to come back in the sixth round if necessary. 73-45 there for Heidler. Nice position to be in. Oh dear. Well, did she hurt herself that in the celebration? Like it. it looked like it, didn't it? She certainly stumbled, and uh, whether it was aggravating something that was already there or not, I'm not sure. But anyway, her work is pretty well done. No wonder she's passing her fi final attempts. Now we come to the final action of this penultimate day of the World Championships. First of all, fifth round of the hammer, it's Rasnova of Slovakia. And an excellent throw. And that is going to move her up past Catherine Klaus of Germany into the bronze medal spot because it's very close to 75 metres. Klaus, we saw throw 74-23 in the third round. The Slovakian record holder, 76 metres 90, now 74-79. The only previous medals for Slovakia from uh, Igor Kovac in the hurdles when it was Czechoslovakia. No, since then, actually, 1997, anyway. And Libor Chaifartag in the hammer, men's hammer, two years ago. Here's Heidler now in the fifth round. Oh, a tremendous throw. She's improved. She's not got that world record mark, but it's another terrific throw from a great series. She opened with three throws over 75 metres, and now 76 metres 44. So really superb effort for Betty Heidler. The defending champion is in terrific form, even if she doesn't win. And 76 44, so close to her personal best of 76 55. Well, there's still a round to go, though. Coming now into the final round in the concluding action. Here is Tatyana Lysenko. She served a two-year drugs ban, and uh, she's back, but not yet in uh, world record form. So far today, a 72-metre throw and a couple of over 71 metres. The first competition back, she actually got uh, 76.41, and the injured Vladic just has to wait and see what anyone else can produce. Jana Lysenko, very athletic build, set the world record in 2006, European champion that year. She failed an out of competition test in 2007, so lost a world record of 78.61. That's the longest throw a woman has ever achieved, and that's uh, quite a long way in excess even of the new world record we've just seen. And Lysenko of Russia in sixth place. So we're counting down from eighth through to first. And out goes the hammer to land some way short of what she would need to get up into medal contention. So just five throws left in the concluding action here in the Olympic Stadium in Berlin. 70-16, so Lysenko will be sixth, 72 metres, 22. Seventh, Jeanette Jessica Cosby, the US champion, and eighth, Clarissa Claretti. They've already had their last throws. We know the order of those athletes. It's five left. So it's Cheng of China, Cheng Wenxiu, a consistent world-class performer. Bronze medals both in the Olympic Games and at the World Championships two years ago. 72.57 so far today in fifth place. Generating good power across the circle. 
but that too landing not as far as her best effort today so we know five six seven and eight as we come to the action at the head of the first 7103 at the end no improvement then for Zhang but I think they might raise the roof for the next woman coming into the circle because it is the 25 year old Catherine Klaas who has shown her best when it mattered today 74 meters 23 a 48 center improvement on a personal best both she and Betty Heidler have the same coach Michael Dial well he can be very proud of his uh, charges efforts here today Krasnova looks on she's in the bronze medal spot can class and find another 50 centimeters or so 74 23 so far no no she has to settle for fourth but she's done really well any athlete who sets a personal best in the hammer can be justifiably praised to do it on the big stage particularly for an athlete who has in the past missed a few major championships no mark in the world championships in 2005 didn't qualify in 2007 so class can be well satisfied with her fourth place here she's come good in berlin when it really mattered So we now know the medalists. All we have to do is determine the order. Quite strongly separated at the moment. Metre and a half between first and second. Nearly two metres between second and third. This is Martina Krasnova of Slovakia. Wanting the crowd to get behind her. That won't be difficult. Formerly Martina Danisova, the Slovak record holder. Won silver medals at European Junior and World Junior level. And now right in the top of forefront of world hammer throwing. 74-79 to beat to improve her performance. Now she hooks it over to the left-hand side in the poor final throw. So she takes the silver medal, Vrasnova of Slovakia, 74 metres 79. Bronze medal, did I say silver? Thank you, yeah. I saw a picture of Heidler fleetingly, and I thought silver to myself. Martina Hrasna of Slovakia takes the bronze medal with 74-79. Now, she's had a terrific series of throws. Betty Heidler of Germany. The crowd are standing. They're all on their feet, willing her on. Yet another medal to Germany in the field events. Can it be better than silver? Heidler started. She took the lead in the first round, 75-10. She improved to 75-38, 75-73. And then in the fifth round, 76-44. This is her final throw. Great speed around the circle. Another great throw, a great throw. It's not the gold medal, it's a silver medal. But what a terrific demonstration of throwing. That was absolutely superb. She gave it everything. I took my headphones off and listened to the noise in the crowd, and it was almost deafening. She gave that absolutely everything. A new national record. You cannot ask any more from this woman. 77 metres 12, fifth best of all time, and a national record to conclude. Well, she's delighted, and so are everybody else in this stadium. The crowd are all on their feet. As you said, Rob, when you must have taken your headphones off, you must have, I heard it, you must have heard it even more magnified. Absolutely, and as we've spoken so many times of Jamaican dominance on the track, the Germans are having a fantastic world championship. Their best since uh, 1999, and it's good to see something of a resurgence in German athletics, which we've actually also seen at junior and under 23 level this year now then this is the world champion anita vladacic of poland who set a world record of 77 meters 96 
We wondered about whether she's injured, but she is going to take her final throw. She passed rounds three, four, and five. This for glory. Gold medal, world record, all ready to her credit. Here's a chance to, <laughs> yes, just a token effort. Fair enough, because if she sustained an injury, you can't expect much more than that. That's probably the lowest throw by a world uh, champion that we've ever seen. It doesn't matter at all. Nice effort there for Vladacic, just to allow us to appreciate her talent. Well, I think, that's, as Rob said, that's the first time I've seen an athlete injure himself or herself in the celebrations after they've won a gold medal. Very fine hammer competition. And we end up with the world record and the fifth best of all time with the uh, national record there for Heisler, uh, Heidler and a personal best for class in fourth place. There it is, the traditional shot, the third world record of these championships. And it goes to Anita Vladacic of Poland. The 24-year-old, she broke the Polish record with the late Kamilo Skolimowska, who so sadly died at the beginning of this year. And uh, now she's got the world record as well. Heidler is on her lap of honour, pursued by the mascot. Are we going to get more scenes of mascot uh, intervention with world records? He's gaining on it. Well, he got involved with Robert Harting, he got involved with Steffi Nerius. He's uh, becoming a bit of a cult celebrity himself. Here's Rasnova, the bronze medalist. And you've got to say, for Betty Heidler, the quality of her performance is marked that only a world record beat her. Absolutely. The whole crowd, as Heidler goes round, all the crowd are bowing down to her. And Bulgarczyk has found the Polish flag. Fit enough to go to a little jog, at least. Well, she can dim the pain with that uh, gold medal and also the uh, $100,000 uh, dollar bonus she'll get for selling a new world record. Mr. Bolt, of course, has got two of those. Just looking back down the German achievements here, I think that means they've medaled in every throwing discipline. Shot, javelin, discus and hammer. Yes, thanks, Rob. They've got two gold, three silver, four bronze. Well, Steve, I think it's been to the championship's advantage <laughs> that the Germans have had such a good week so far. Oh, undoubtedly. I mean, I think that uh, any championship with a home crowd would like to see their athletes do well, and the Germans have excelled themselves, as you said, in the field events. And that's great, because the field events go on for a long time, and the crowds here love that, really. They get behind their athletes 110%. And I think you know, it works both ways. The athletes themselves get a lot of benefit when the crowd are helping them. Final result of the hammer, the winner, a world record for Anita Vladacic of Poland, 77.96. Betty Heidler took silver with a national record, 77.12 for Germany. And Martina Hrasnova of Slovakia took the bronze medal with 74.79.